Hello, uh, black boxers and uh, stock footage shooters. I'm going to walk you through the um, user guide for black box. And this user guide is especially important if you're going to produce stock video. Even if you're not submitting to black box, this user guide is very important. I'm going to let you read the introduction from uh, Pat McGowan. And I'm going to jump down here. We're going to start with quality and marketability. Quality is the number one priority at Black Box. That should also read the number one priority for you. Our primary mission is to help creators build better lives by making high quality content that sells. You can help by taking quality seriously. The buyers who come to stock footage agencies we deal with are looking for great footage. They are not looking for substandard or technically flawed content. Here is the bitter truth. Everyone makes mistakes when shooting video, even the top professional shooters. But don't carry your mistakes into the editing process and don't let your mistakes get uploaded to Black Box. To be blunt, if you did that on a contract or gig for a high level project and client, you would not be asked back or you would be fired. It is really important that you take this seriously and produce high quality content. Thank you. As volume of footage on agencies grow, they are constantly adjusting their standards and processes, and part of our job here at Black Box is to stay on top of these factors, so our standards and processes will be constantly evolving. If the work you produce doesn't mix well with other professionally shot content, there is a good chance that Black Box and or agencies will reject it. This is a fact of life, so you need to take this seriously if you want to be successful. Our standards are designed to maximize agency approvals, therefore our standards may be slightly more stringent than if you go it alone and upload to agencies directly using your own account. This is just a fact of life in this industry. Adjust your thinking. For every clip you consider uploading, ask yourself, can I imagine this clip being used within a professional project, like a commercial, corporate video, documentary, streaming or TV series or narrative film? In other words, would I pay for this clip? Be honest with yourself about this, brutally honest. If the answer is yes, upload it. If it's no, skip that clip and keep working on your skills. And if it's an I'm not sure, post it in the Black Box face group, Facebook group for feedback. Veteran Black Boxers will be able to tell you whether it's worth uploading as well and as well how to improve your craft. Reference link. Here is a good link from Shutterstock on how to create sellable footage. It is a good link. Black Box Quality Standards. Are you the best quality control you are the best quality control resource you have. Make sure you take time to look careful at your clips before you upload them to Black Box. Substandard content and clip spamming will not be accepted by our reviewers. We are growing a community of creators that care about quality and want to distribute their very best work. Here are the general technical quality standards that we must make we use to make assessments. Duration 5 seconds, maximum 59 seconds. Recommended maximum 30 seconds. Most stock footage is used to fill holes, so clips 10 to 15 seconds long tend to sell best. Um, trim, trim the clips. Remove camera moves or black frames at the beginning and end. Steady. Your clips must be steady with no shaky movements of any kind. Handheld camera shake. Handheld is one of the hardest techniques to do properly. If you are a seasoned pro, your handheld footage will most likely be un will, will most likely be if you are not a seasoned pro, your footage will most likely be unsteady and will be rejected. We strongly advise that you use a tripod, slider, or gimbal and to be very discerning when it comes to uploading handheld footage. No jump cuts or sequences. Each clip must be a single continuous shot. Noise, pixels, banding. These agencies are super strict on this one. Many DSLR, drones, mirrorless cameras, and action cams are not well suited to shooting in low light. Look at dark areas of your footage for noise and grain. Use a broadcast monitor if at all possible and also use scopes. You can apply denoising filters as a part of your grading process, but this can be tricky and often makes things worse. 
Shutter artifacts, rolling shutter, jitter, and other shutter issues will render a clip useless. This is a common with action cams, phones, drones, especially in auto mode. Go manual and understand this issue. Color grading. Clips should pop and stand out visually against other clips on the agencies. Clips with a subutal Rec. 709 look see best sales. Some members shoot Rec. 709 in camera to avoid grading. Upgrade raw footage is not encouraged at this time. Sharp focus. Footage should be in sharp focus or it may be rejected. If you are going to upload a clip with rack focus, make sure your clip starts in focus, holds focus for at least two to three seconds, then rack out and maybe back in again. Put rack focus in your keywords and description. White balance. Don't know what this is and why it's important? If not, get to YouTube or take a course. This is basic stuff. Gimbals. Most new gimbals have vertical walking bobble issue which most likely will not sell. If you can master the ninja walk, shoot without this bobble effect, then by all means upload. Be critical. Drones. Aerials sell well but must be professionally produced. This means no shutter issues, props and shot, noise or poorly shot clips. Make sure you understand what the technical issues could be leading to your clips being rejected. Action cams. This footage can sell well, but must be professionally produced. This means no shutter issues, exposure issues, poor focus, noise, or poorly shot clips. Make sure you understand what technical issues could be leading to your clips being rejected. Mobile and phone videography. This footage can sell well, but must professionally be produced. Do not shoot auto. Get manual control camera apps like Filmic Pro for your phone and learn how to use them for professional results. This means no shutter issues, expose, exposure issues, poor focus, noise, or poorly shot clips. Make sure you understand what technical issues could be leading to your clips being rejected. Monitors. Don't trust your camera monitor screen. Why? The clip you see on your tiny screen is probably full of imperfections and technical issues that cannot be detected on small screens. Shutter issues, noise, shake, etc. You must edit your clips on a decent screen like a good laptop or decent desktop computer and you must be hypocritical of your own work. Different points of view and shot styles. Editors often need to edit sequences from a series of shots. This does not mean the same shot over and over, it means a sequence of different shots that cover various points of view, angles, shot types, etc. Do not overdo it by uploading more than a few variations of a subject matter, and don't upload the same basic shot again and again. Clip spamming. Buyers will skip over your content if you do this, which will hurt your sales. Many agencies are now rejecting similar clips. Uh, here is a helpful resource at Adobe Stock. No audio. Deselect audio in your export settings. Simply muting may result in your clip being rejected. Pillow boxing or letter boxing clips with black bars on sides and tops and bottoms will be rejected. Logos or trademarks. Clips including logos, trademarks, artwork must have a property release attached or be designated as editorial with proper metadata. Without one of these two options, the clips will likely be rejected. Recognizable people. Clips including recognizable people must have a model release attached or be designated as editorial. With proper metadata without one of these two options, the clips will likely be rejected. More on releases and editorial later. Even if you film yourself or film family members, you still need a model release. Animated content. You can create and upload animated clips, but only if you own all of the elements or you have made any owners of any element shares of the clip. Saturated subjects. Think about subjects that already have a ton of clips available. Things like waterfalls, grass, ducks, squirrels, subjects that many people decide to film. If you try to shoot these for stock, make sure you shoot well, stand out the competition. For example, Including people in the shot will make a huge difference for a higher probability of sales. Try to film things that are difficult in terms of skill, location for others to reproduce. Clip spamming. Don't upload more than two to three instances of what is basically the same shot. 
Obvious clip spamming is not allowed and excess clips will be rejected. Aesthetics. These are a few characteristics that can define a winner clip. Before you upload, ask yourself this. Is it professionally crafted in every way, technically sound in every way, accompanied by proper release forms and properly completed? Unique, rare, surprising, beautiful, scary, thrilling, inspiring, happy, sad, funny, illustrative. Tip. Spend some extra time, various stock agencies, research what is currently available and selling. Check the popular filters before you shoot. Think about what might be missing and consider filling that gap in the market. Join the Black Box Members Facebook group and hang out with other members who will support your journey. Accepted file formats and resolutions. Black Box accepts the following types. H2.64 as .mp4 files. H.264 as .mov files. Apple QuickTime ProRes as .mov files. Black Black only accepts the following video resolutions. 4K 4096 by 2160. 4K 4096 by 2304. UHD sold as 4K, 3840 by 2160, including vertical video, not 2160 by 3840. HD is 1920 by 1080, including vertical video, not 1080 by 1920. Uh, HD 128720. File size limits are 4 gigabytes for 4K clips and 3 gigabytes for HD clips. Blackbox accepts only progressive files with the following frame rates 23.98, 24, 25, 29.97, 30, 50, 59.94p, and 60p. Note, do not upload different versions of clips with different frame rates. Only one version per clip is allowed. Any footage that does not meet these technical specifications will be rejected. Interlaced footage is not accepted, only progressive footage. Uploading and uh, users D clips is not permitted. If a clip was shot in 720, upload 720. 2.7K footage cannot be up to UHD or 4K. It must be downscaled to HD. HDV footage must be converted to 1920 by 1080p or 1280 by 720p. Cinema graphs. You must own or have title to all elements used to create the final video clip. Do not upload any cinema graphs if this is not 100% true. 4K, UHD, or HD, which sells best? Over 95% of stock footage sales are HD. 4K is great for uh, to future-proof, but there is no reason not to upload HD content. Note, if you upload 4K or UHD clip, the agencies will automatically offer a 1080p version to buyer, so you only have to upload that clip once. Please do not upload both 4K and HD versions of the same shot. We only need higher resolution versions. Animation and Motion Graphics Motion graphics, 2D animations, and 3D animations can sell very well. Mine your past projects and make a new art to upload to Blackbox. Make sure your clips are compliant with our accepted formats. Do not upload clips made from still images without movement applied. These will be rejected. Important, you must own all of the art and animation in any clips you submit. You cannot copy other artists. If you are submitting collaborative work, then all collaborators must be black box members and must have a fair share applied using our platform. 360 and VR. We currently are working on defining specs for 360 video and VR clips. Crucial message about copyright agency and the agency process. We need to make sure that our members avoid unintentionally breaking agency rules or even the law. Please adhere to these rules in mind when uploading to the platform. You must own all your clips you submit to Black Blocks. Even animations and cinema graphs must be comprised of only original elements. Submitting clips you don't own is a breach of copyright law and can result in legal action, suspension, or cancellation of your Black Box account. You can submit clips to Black Box that are already online with you cannot you cannot submit clips to Black Box that are already online with any of the four agencies we deal with. Shutterstock, Pond5, Adobe Stock, and Vimeo Stock. 
This can be considered as potential fraudulent activity by the agencies. We recommend that you leave your agency accounts as they are and only upload new and fresh content to Blackbox. That, that has not been uploaded to any of the agencies we deal with. Once you upload clips to Blackbox, you can't additionally upload and submit the same clips again to any of the four agencies we deal with uh, on a non-Blackbox private account. When a clip is not accepted by the agencies, you can't alter the clip, trim, or color grade and change the metadata in order to attempt a second submission. The agencies frown upon this activity and so do we at Blackbox. We recommend that you do not delete your existing portfolios on the stock agencies. We deal with and then upload the same clips to Blackbox, mainly because there is no guarantee that if you submit them again through Blackbox that they will be approved by those agencies. Agencies are, not con are constantly changing processes and standards, and we have no control over that at all. So you are advised to submit your fresh content to Blackbox that has not been submitted previously to any of the agencies that we deal with. Why Black Box? Love. You get to concentrate on doing what you love because Black Box takes care of the least pleasurable aspects of stock footage for you. Collaboration. On the editing and curation, if that's not what you love to do, patent pending. Revenue sharing. You and your collaborators get paid automatically, patent pending. No hassles. We do all the uploading and deal with the agencies for you. Community. Black Box is a growing global community of like-minded creators. Value. Even after Black Box commissions, you will make on, on average the same amount or slightly more from your stock footage sales when you compare your earnings by going it alone and doing all the uploading and management yourself. Plus, you won't get our awesome collaboration or revenue sharing tools. Note. Data is calculated on weighted averages across all agencies Black Box deals with. How can you make more money with less hassle? The user guide and our members frequently asked questions are valuable learning tools that will help you succeed on Black Box. They are the best way to leap through the learning curve to get the most out of this powerful platform. In fact, we think that 99% of any questions are covered in these resources. If you do not closely follow these guidelines, your clips will probably be rejected during the review process. So we are happy, so we're happy you're here to properly learn the ropes. Here's what you'll need to do along the way. Read the user guide and you're watching this now entirely. This is where you will learn how to use the platform. Read the frequently asked questions when you get answers to general questions. Read the member frequently asked questions where you get answers to all of the common questions we have been asked for for the last two to three years. Watch and listen to some of our favorite resources for knowledge and inspiration. There's a list there of YouTube channels that you can watch, including mine, Shameless Plug, Crafted Shutter on YouTube. This is important. Please only upload your very best work to Black Box. Work hard, hone your craft to be professional level, and be your own toughest critic. Clip spamming by uploading 50 near identical clips is not going to help your sales at all. Pick the best shots and do customized descriptions and keywords. Obvious clip spamming will result in clip rejections and that's a waste of everyone's time. If you're an amateur level, get to a higher level of craft before you make your first upload. When you're certain that your work is market ready, take advantage of training resources out there on the web as well as feedback and wisdom from the Black Box Facebook community to help in, uh, you improve. Start by mining your hard drives. Again, only choose your best work for upload to Black Box. Edit, grade, touch up, export, upload, add metadata, submit, collaborate on the platform. Then let Black Box deal with all the complexities of the agency's revenue splits and so on. Participate in the Black Box Facebook community. This is where Black Box Network team up, learn, and share. Be patient at every stage, planning, shooting, editing, uploading, adding metadata, submitting during the process of agency reviews, etc. Everything takes time. Follow your eye. Your brain is just getting in the way most of the time. Follow your eye and your heart because they will never lie. Do you like cake? 
Generating passive income from stock footage is a lot like baking a cake. You need to mix the best ingredients, pour the batter into the cake pan, preheat the oven, put the cake pan into the oven, set the timer, let it bake, take it out of the oven, let it cool, then frost it. And then your mom will make you eat all of your dinner before cutting the cake and letting you dig in. The lesson here is attention to detail and patience will get you more cake. Success with Black Box takes time and consistent hard work. This is a, a marathon, not a sprint, and we hope you're in it for the long haul. The key to success here is to build a diverse portfolio of high-quality clips by harnessing your talent, training, tools, and time. Throw in magic sauce of Black Box collaboration and revenue splitting, and you will do well. Collaboration. The true power of Black Box is revenue splitting and collaboration. There are black boxers who love editing, some who love writing metadata, and some who love shooting. If you don't want to edit or curate your film, that's okay. Team up and collaborate so you can focus your energy on the things you love to do. Success and freedom. What you shoot is 100% up to you. You have complete freedom. Here are a few of my favorite mantras. Shoot with passion and purpose. When you do this, your footage will stand out. Anything can sell. This is anything that is professionally crafted with great execution and interesting subject matter and has potential to sell. This does not include amateur quality footage. Fail a lot. Just don't fail the same way twice. All successful artists fail all the time. Start with what you have and branch out to other ideas and subjects. Develop a healthy sense of self-assessment. Stay focused. Be dedicated and maintain a willingness to learn without overthinking. Talent, experience, patience, and perseverance are necessary to master any videography technique. Be humble. All, all the A listeners are humble. Be a listener. Black Box Affiliate Program. If you like Black Box and want to refer a friend or colleague, you can send them your referral link, which will give you 1% of your affiliate's lifetime revenue paid by Black Box. Everybody wins. You can find your custom link in your account settings on your portal. Full transparency. There are potential downsides to Black Box. We built Black Box to save you time, effort, and hassle by taking care of all agency uploads for you and allowing you to split the revenue with collaborators, but there are trade-offs. Getting footies accepted through Black Box might not always be as fast as getting footies accepted through a private account. This is due to our internal reviews and processing times. Clips are submitted under the name Black Box Guild, not your personal brand. Be aware that most stock footage buyers do not search by contributor name, they just want the clips. You can't track your content in detail or modify metadata after submitting. In a nutshell, we want creators to have more freedom to have better lives, but if the speed of agency approvals, personal branding, and closely tracking your portfolio are critical for you, then Black Box may not, Black Box may not be your best option if this is the case. No hard feelings, and we wish you the best of luck with your future projects and content. The decision is yours, and we respect your freedom to choose. Buy Black Box made footage. Are you a stock footage buyer? Please consider using Black Box Guild as contributor filter when you search agencies. Here are links to the Black Box portfolios. They are right here, folks. Okay, that was fun. Ready to learn how to use Black Box for editing, uploading, curating, and submitting your footage for sale globally? We will guide you through the beginning with the raw footage all the way to hitting the submit button. After that, your footage will be automatically distributed to the global markets and you can start earning passive income. Section 2 Editing and Exporting Clips Launch your nonlinear editor and import your raw footage into a project. We recommend Adobe uh, CC Premiere Pro. I use personally DaVinci Resolve and we'll be using this for this tutorial. I'm going to walk you through some of the highlights here because some of this is only focused on uh, Adobe processing. So uh, if you use whatever you use on uh, to create for black box the steps are the same, but basically you can uh, find uh, clips, uh, information on my YouTube site 
on Crafted Shutter on how to do this in DaVinci Resolve as well. In fact, I think it's done even better. Color correcting and grading. Um, no, you don't need to use a LUT. You should only make light adjustments to saturation, white balance, and contrast. Yes. Unless you want a special look, it is best to go with Rec. 709 grading treatment. Uh, a call out here, if you're going to use a LUT, if you make a LUT and you're going to use it across, make sure if it's the same shoot, you use the same LUT across all your clips. You are now only upload one color grade of the same clip to Blackbox. You can only upload one. You can't upload both Rec. 709 or a flat version of Rec. 709 and a black and white version. And there's within Adobe Premiere, we got Lumetri Color, and basically for any editor you want to focus on exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, that kind of information. Making an HD crop version from uh, UHD or 4K footage, this result in HD version that has a tighter frame or emphasis on a certain area of the original frame. To make a cropped HD version of UHD and 4K footage, all you need to do is make an HD sequence, drop the 4K footage in it. Do not allow the software to make it anything other than an HD sequence. Scale the file to 50% or whatever works. Position the frame and render as HD. You'll have a zoomed cropped version where the subject of the clip is bigger and the relative frame. It's simple to do. Things to keep in mind. Create specific crops with specific intentions. A two times crop will make a big difference and will not affect clip quality as long as the focus is sharp in the original 4K footage. Do not go lower than 50% as a general rule or the result will be pixelated and may be rejected. You can also add motion, zooms, and pans. Don't overdo it. One or two crop versions maximum per original clip, please. Exporting. Exporting the clip properly maximizes the number of platforms Blackbox can make the, the market to. Recommended settings for single exports and batch exports. Uh, we got to naming.mov, mp4 files, file names. The file name or clip name is the anchor metadata point for black box and is not the name that potential buyers will see for your clip. Maximum 50 characters including dot the mp4 and dot mov, four character suffix. Index numbers are allowed and can help you organize your clips and there's an example there. English only, avoid duplicate file names. Each clip must have a unique name or will be rejected or result in complications with adding meta metadata. Uh, deselect audio checkbox when exporting um, your video. Click the fit to fill button at the top left. Formats. Black box will accept the following export types. We went over this at the top h264.mp4, h264.mov, Apple QuickTime ProRes as a .mov file. A bit rates for ProRes UHD match source um, for H.264. Uh, minimum bit rate, the ma captured rate of your camera. Maximum bit rate is 150 megabytes for H.264. And uh, your camera pretty much does this. So as long as you're doing the proper export settings, you are going to be fine. HD cropped export 4K clips, ProRes match source is recommended. H.264 MP4 minimum bit rate is 40 megabits per second. High frame rate footage, high frame rate footage, 60 to 120, etc. can be uploaded at the native as shot or real time speed and at low motion speed for two accepted versions of the clip. Trim slow motion versions to 10 to 15 second sweet spot. You may be able to create more than one slow motion version. Don't overdo it. Avoid generating artifacts that are created when slowing footage past the player frame rate. Example, 60 frames slowed to 30 frames is a 50% factor. 30 frames, there is no duplicate frames. Perfect. For normal speed variations, include the frame rate in the metadata. Metadata. Tip, when you add metadata, use the keyword slow motion in the description and in the keywords to di differentiate the clip from regular speed clips. Section 3, Sharing and Collaboration. What is a sharer? The notion of shares is a key feature of Blackbox and is really at the core of our collaborative philosophy. 
No one else does this, and it's a real advantage for black box members. The share function assigns a percentage of ownership and revenue to collaborators. Shares could be videographers, editors, metadata curators, model, property owners, and more. Using the share function ensures that everybody involved gets paid. Every collaborator will be paid their share percentage of a clip each and every time it sells in perpetuity. In perpetuity. If you do not have collaborators, then you do not need to use black box share function. Important. When you engage a collaborator and you make content together that is submitted to black box, even curation, you are entering into an agreement to co-own the content. This means that you cannot remove your content from Blockbox unless all collaborators agree. The content is now co-owned. Important, if you are working part of a team making visual content, that does not mean you'll have the right to upload and sell that content. This applies to animation as well. For instance, if you are an animator and another person was a character designer, that does not give you the right over the finished animation. This is where the Black Rocks proprietary content co-ownership feature comes in. If all the project partners are Black Box members, all you need to do is make everyone a share. So think about it before you upload. Important. If you engage a curator, they have the right to refuse clips. This is part of the process. It will lead to improvements in your work if you let it. Sending nasty notes to your collaborator will not is not accepted pro success tip you can make even more money from your paying gigs contracts here's how charge your usual service gig contact fees make a hundred percent sure that your contract states you retain all rights outside of the gig contract and then upload your own content to black box if you do not own the content do not upload it to black box note you can offer your client a share of the black box revenue as a way to sweeten the deal. How do I sign a share? For clips, uh, you yourself edit and upload. Go to the workspace tab of my black box section. More on how to assign a share to a full curation project later. Note, to select a share that black box members must fully complete their secondary registration, especially adding their PayPal ID. If they have not finished the registration, you will not find them on this list of potential shares. You can add shares and assign them an ownership percentage of the content within the metadata edit section of the workspace tab. Add shares to clips one by one in the black box workspace tab and click the edit button for a chosen clip. Add the shares to multiple clips at a time by creating a batch of clips. Select the clips you would like to group together, click Create Name. At the top of the list, Clips, and create the batch name for the group of clips. Choose one clip in the batch and click the Edit button. Add the share to that clip, then select Apply to all the box that appears to the right of the selected share name. That share share should now appear as a partial owner of all the clips in the designated batch. For a collaborative project, you can specify the curator and share's ownership. Percentage and to create a project window of my collaboration tab, then setting up a new project. More on this later. Collaboration Curator Options What is a curator? A curator is another black box member who can collaborate with you to offer editing, metadata curation, or full curation. When working with a curator, you can ask for partial or full curation. Parcel curation, editing and uploading only, or metadata only, or a combination of the two three-way curation. You can create a project to assign editing and uploading in collaboration with one collaborator, editor, then assign metadata tagging in collaboration with another collaborator, metadata curator, separately in your workspace. For the editing and uploading only part, you can choose to specify the type of work needed, such as export, grading, selects, and other processes. and can also write a note to your editor with additional information. You will need to arrange to transfer your raw content to your editor outside the black box platform. For metadata only, once your edited clips are uploaded to black box account, you can then assign the clips to your agreed metadata curator from your workspace tab. 20% is recommended share for editing and uploading only 
20 cent is recommended for share of metadata only. Full curation, that means editing, uploading metadata in this case, you will arrange to transfer your content to your curator outside of the black box platform and they will finish the entire curation process. 40% is recommended share for editing and uploading and metadata. Recommended shares are suggested so that to be fair to the all to motivative, motivate all collaborators to do their best and most efficient work. All members are free to negotiate sharing rates. More on this later and step for assigning clips and projects. The value of collaboration, a good editor or metadata curator can really help you up your game. In addition to the work, they are a valuable source for feedback and advice. All editors and or metadata curators are tasked with applying black box quality standards. So only the best content gets to market. This is your best interest because quality is key to black box success. Prefer not to collaborate? Full self curation. Complete the entire process yourself without any collaborators. You will edit, grade, tweak, export, name the clip, upload the metadata, and submit your own. Use the My Black Box Workspace tab. You upload using FTP. Apply metadata using Black Box metadata editing tools or apply CSV or XLS file templates are in the Help Forms Templates area of the portal. Submit when you are ready. So how do I find and assign a curator? Finding a curator. Post at least three short samples, clips, or a trailer of your work you hope to assign in the Black Box members Facebook group, specifically which type of curator you are looking for. You can also share private clips using YouTube, Vimeo, Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. Curators who are interested will contact you and you can start a small test batch after you agree on a time frame and percentage share. This is the collaborator who will help ensure your clips sell, so establishing a good relationship is crucial. Or create a curation project and post it in the black box marketplace to see who might be interested in your project. Project Success Tips for Working with Any Curator Don't randomly assign clips to a curator you have not previously talked to gotten to know and reached an agreement with. The platform is not designed to randomly assign curators. Take the time to find out more about your collaborator. Are they an expert at what they do? Are they an expert with black box processes? Ask for references if you like. Send detailed notes about your footage, location, model info, names, places, and things, etc. before start working on your content. When you assign a curator to a clip or project, you will assign a curator percentage share that you will not be able to change later. Make sure you agree on this percentage before signing. Important note, if your collaborator is not getting the work done or does not respond, please send a detailed email to members at blackbox.global. We will try to help. Include all permanent information including the name and user ID of the collaborator as well as the same information for you. Tip. Already know your ideal curator? Invite them to join Blackbox to be your partner. Send them your referral link in your account settings and encourage them to collaborate with you. Tip: Don't set your curator as a regular share unless you want to give them an extra percentage on top of the curation percentage shares. If the curator you would like to choose does not appear on the list of available curators, ask them to select one of their roles as curator in their account settings. They will not appear in the list until this has been selected. Here is a picture of what that looks like. I'll give you a second to look at that. We're going to jump down here to use the black box and my collaboration tab to create new project and select the project type, curation project. In the following window, you can select your collaborators, shares, choose a sharing percentage, and leave notes for your curator. Note, when creating a new project, Save button will save the unpublished project to your My Collaboration tab and will not post it in the marketplace yet. You have to option to make changes to the unpublished project using the Edit button. Submit will make your project visible in the Marketplace tab and you will no longer be able to edit it. You can set the project as private or as marketplace. Private. Choosing this option will allow you to select a specific curator 
and only they will see your project in their marketplace tab. An email will be sent to the curator asking them to accept or decline the project. Marketplace. Choosing this option means that the project will be made available in the marketplace for all members to see. Interested curators will be able to express their interest and you can approve or reject any member who becomes a curator for your project. Interested collaborators and curators can chat with the project owner to ask for more information about the project and work involved. After the project owner assigns a curator, the curator can then accept or reject the project assignment. Note, at this time you can only select one curator but add multiple shares. If the collaborator accepts the project, it will move to My Collaboration tab. The curators can upload the finished clips to a project with the following steps. If you're working on a current collaborative project, a button will appear in your workspace tab. It says upload project files. This button will only will not will not be visible to you if you are not currently working on a collaborative project. Clicking on the upload project files button will send you to a project page in the My Collaboration tab. From that project page, you can upload your final edited clips. Once the clips are uploaded, you will fill, find them in the Workspace tab where you can add metadata and submit the clips. After submitting the footage on the project owner's behalf, the curator will mark the project as complete. The project owner will get an email notification so they can either approve the footage or simply mark the project complete. Rejected clips are sent back to the Workspace tab where the curator can edit and resubmit or delete the clips. Note, if the project owner marks the project as complete before approving the individual clips, all the footage within the project will be automatically approved. Project name. Special characters are not allowed, just letters and numbers. Once the finished clips are uploaded and the project is marked complete, the project name will become the batch name of those clips. Don't upload raw footage by FTP. Send raw files to your collaborator on a hard drive or use third-party third party file transfer services like Dropbox or send this file or private FTP like pCloud. Never create or delete any folders in the Blackbox FTP directories. Once your project is created, Blackbox will automatically create a directory within the For Collaborative Projects Only folder that already lives inside the stock footage folder. This project's specific folder is where Curator will upload the finished clips. Coming soon. In the near future, you'll be able to use Blackbox to work with other collaborators to jointly produce content other than stock footage, such as YouTube videos, etc. At this time, then you will have the option to set up project type to collaborative content creation request. Assigning a metadata only curator. Use the My Black Box workspace tab. Upload your finished clips via FTP. Once your clips appear in your workspace, select the clips you want to assign. You can only use the batch function here. Use the assign curator button at the top of the list of the clips to assign the selected clips to your curator. They will receive the notification email and are now a share of these clips. In their curation tab, the curator can add metadata manually using the edit button or automatically by uploading CSV or XLS files with the complete metadata. The templates are here in the Help Formats Templates area of the portal. Once you have uploaded metadata, the curation status will change from incomplete to complete. You can review the metadata and request changes, make adjustments yourself, be sure to communicate any changes to your curator before submitting. Submit the clips once the metadata is approved by both clip owner and curator. Update notice. Previously only a clip owner could upload and attend attached model and property releases. Now a curator can attach releases from the clip owner's directory but cannot delete any releases from the clip owner's release directory. How do I become a curator? First, you must take share of one of your expertise roles to set to curator in your account settings. Otherwise, you will not show up in the list of available curators. 
Join the Black Box members Facebook group and contact videographers and or editors who share footage and footage that interests you. Post and edit a reel or metadata reel examples in the Facebook group to share your work with your community and start building relationships or browse the marketplace tab and request to become a curator on a project that interests you. You must be an expert user of the Black Box platform before you offer to curate for other members. Be an expert editor to offer editing curation. Have a high level of English and understand keyword best practices to offer metadata curation. Notes, if you are not an expert yet, don't offer to collaborate with other members. Both the clip owner and the curator are responsible for establishing a relationship before beginning any collaborations. Communication is key. If you accept a curation assignment, you have promised to get the work done in an agreed time frame and do your best work. If you accept a curation assignment, this is a professional commitment, and you are expected to complete your commitments in a professional manner and meet your deadlines. Do not take on, your, on work you can't complete on time. Further, backing out of a commitment is not a cool thing to do, and if you make a habit of it, we will restrict your account. We love successful collaborations. Black Box is not a place where people work for one another. It's a place where creators collaborate for mutual benefits. It's a true pleasure to see so many professionals, respect, and fluid relationships between videographers, editors, and metadata curators. Communication is essential for all members to enjoy this rewarding relationship. In the words of Black Box Master Curator Victoria Smith, I'm a collaborator, not a service provider. If a creator wants to treat me like a service provider, I'm not going to keep working with them. If it's a job and you're paying me for my time, I'll follow whatever guidelines and standards you want. You're the boss, and I get my money either way. As a collaborator, I have a vested interest in the performance of our product, and hopefully we both want it to be the best it can be. Realistic Expectations Curators are not forensic post-production people. Don't expect them to stabilize, rotoscope, or blur poorly executed footage so you can ask this work if you offer a higher percentage share. Expert curators have a great eye for quality control and have the right to refuse, send back footage that is substandard in their opinion. This is all about getting the best work into the market. Solid collaborations help all involved grow and improve. When collaborating, you should test the relationship with a small batch of 5 to 10 clips before jumping in. Ask for the sample of footage, editing, and or metadata on one or two clips before continuing. This will generate trust and avoid issues with expectations and quality. Set mutually agreed deadlines. Communicate regularly. Tip. If you're having issues with a collaborator that you can't work out, you can contact Pat McGowan via the Facebook group or email at members at blackbox.global. Uploading your clips to uploading clips to your black box account. Before you upload clips to the black box, you should read and agree on our quality standards, which we've gone over in this. Tip we recommend that you do not use a Wi-Fi connection when uploading. Instead, connect your workstation to your internet router with a network cable for reliable uploads. Sending large video files over Wi-Fi sometimes involves disruptions in the data, data stream that will result in incomplete data packets and corrupt files. Upload errors are bound to happen now and then. Please be patient and try again. Tip: Speed up your uploads by using H.264 exports in an MP4 wrapper instead of ProRes 422 in a .movie wrapper. This controls the file size. How to upload. Download and install FTP client software like FileZilla. Find FileZilla download link. There you can find it. You can use the client version. We will use FileZilla for these instructions. You can alternatives included. There's some other alternatives here. Win, SCP, Total Commander, and CyberDuck. Tip. If you have technical issues, double check that you have followed directions exactly. If issues persist in the email, you can email info at blackbox.global with FTP issues as your subject line and include your black box username, full description of the errors with screenshots. Don't post in the black box members Facebook group for tech support. 
Secure FTP login instructions using FileZilla client version as an example. Down here you can see, choose your file name, site manager, new site. Uh, do not use Quick Connect. You can also use um, icon three, computers at the top left. In the general tab, enter the following host manually, type portal.blackbox.global. Don't copy and paste. Double check your rote.global, not .com. And port, you leave blank. Encryption, use explicit FTP over TLS if available. And you can look through this here. Your login type is normal, black box username and your password. Um, if you get this, click on the checkbox always trust certificate right there. Click OK and the sessions at the left so it can be uploaded. Most common issues with FTP uploads, username, typically your email address you entered in the FTP software does not match your black box username or is not all lowercase. Server address, make sure you use portal.blackbox.global, not portal.blackbox.com or blackbox.com. Router firewall and network issues. Your router may have problems with secure FTP for a variety of reasons and might block the TLS encryption protocol. In that case, you can switch to a standard FTP protocol setting by changing the encryption type. Only use the plain FTP in your FTP software settings. Upload errors. Video files are big and FTP transfers are not as reliable as we'd wish, especially with Wi-Fi tethered cell connections. We strongly recommend direct cable connections from your computer to your router. If you get an error, restart and transfer, and please be patient. Duplicate file rejections, no, no action required. This is for information only. Most of the time, this is a result of user mistakenly or inadvertently uploading the same file twice. Folders, improperly used, more on this below. Tip. If you still have unresolved uh, technical issues, email info at blackbox.global. Folders. Don't create any new folders. You have a few folder options depending on the process you are following. Simple footage uploads. You are uploading clips that are part of a project. This can be footage you plan to curate yourself or footage planned to make an assignment for metadata curation only. Upload the stock footage folder in your FTP directory. You are done. Collaborative project FTP footage. You're uploading clips to a full curation project. Navigate to the stock footage folder. Select for collaborative projects content only folder. Choose the project specific folder that was created automatically when the project was created. Most common error, clips are uploaded to the wrong folder. Make sure you select the correct folders listed above. Tip, if you need help selecting the correct folder, ask us on the Facebook group by sending us an email. Note, there is a standard delay from when files are uploaded to the FTP server and when they appear on your black box workspace tab. Our automated process is inspecting your files to determine if they are compliant and okay to move to the next step. If your clips are rejected at this stage, you will get an email notification. Once they are accepted, files will be migrated to our main server and will appear in your workspace area of My Black Box. This process can take anywhere from a few minutes to as long as a day, which is rare. Before contacting support, please exit your Black Box account, refresh your browser, then log in to your Black Box again. Adding meta metadata. Metadata is hidden data that is not a part of the actual video file. For stock footage, when you write metadata for a clip, you're adding unique clip descriptions, keywords, categories, any available model or property releases, editorial information, when applicable and optional notes. These keywords are used by the search engine to help buyers find your clips. Want better sales from your awesome footage? Follow this guide very carefully. Metadata will make a huge difference in whatever or not the agency accepts your clip and can make all the difference in whether or not buyers can find it. We'll teach you how to get the metadata accepted by the agencies here. Head over to the Black Box Members Facebook group or even more SEO for me, even more SEO tips, tricks for keywording. How to add metadata. Manual edit button. Find your uploaded clips in Black Box Workspace tab. Add metadata manually. Clip by clip using the edit button. Apply to batch is available option. 
Fill in description, add up to 49 keywords, select a category, attach model or property releases, select the shares only the clip owner can change share info. Add editorial information if applicable and or use to apply batch function. Apply to batch will take the metadata field you selected, descriptions, keywords, category, model, property releases, or a combo of any of these, and apply them to all the clips you have grouped together under the same batch name. Click the Save button to save any new metadata. After saving the description keywords, category and curation status will change from incomplete to complete. You filter through your clips to see completed, incomplete, or all. You can find also filter footage by owner if you are a metadata curator using the curation tab. Click the Submit button when you're ready, when you're, you're completely finished and ready for Blackbox to deliver your content to our partner agencies. Note, if you are a metadata curator, please inform the clip owner when you have completed the curation work so they can submit the footage. They will not receive a notification when you finish, so it's important that you contact them. Once the clips are submitted, you will see your shared footage in the Submitted Content tab under My Shared Assets filter. You can use the CSV or XLS method. Note, when you use this method, you should fill in the required information before you try to apply the data to a clip or batch of clips in your black box workspace tab. Our templates are MS Excel friendly. You can use Google Sheets, but we do not recommend Apple Numbers because it does not translate drop down menus properly. Download the correct black box template. Uh, you can find it there. Note there are two templates that you can use. You can open the spreadsheet in Google or whatever you have. You leave in the header row, you copy and paste and fill in the clip names. Creating batches is a great way for you to organize your clips within Blackbox. Once your clips are uploaded, you can create batches using the CSV or XLS upload method or manually by using the Blackbox web editing functions. For the CSV method, <clears throat> All the metadata included the batch name will be applied to the clips when you upload it. For the manual method in your workspace tab, you go through and do it manually on your own. File name or clip name is the anchor point for the black box. It is not the name that potential buyers will see for your clip. Maximum 50 characters. We've gone over that before. Descriptions. Descriptions are titles potential buyers will see for your clips once it is online at the stock agencies. They should be original, unique, and written in English only. Minimum 15 characters, maximum 200. We strongly recommend a maximum of 80 characters to avoid description trun trun truncation on one or more agency platforms. Clips with descriptions between 50 and 75 characters tend to attract better sales. Periods and commas are allowed. If you have several similar shots, use the description to tell buyers how the shots are different from each other. Agencies are now rejecting clips that they deem to be repetitive, so be choosy and only upload the best clips from a series. Specific descriptions can see more sales. Example, Great Horn Dial sits on porch on right screen background will likely perform better than owl on white background. Don't include .mp4 or .movie suffixes, special characters. Numbers are not allowed uh, in descriptions, but allowed in the keywords. Abbreviations, for example, type close up, not CU. This list is based on what may get a clip rejected by one or more agencies. Please follow these guidelines closely so your clips can be accepted by as many agencies as possible. Tip. While you are filming, leave yourself audio notes uh, where you describe the location, actions, and details of a shot to help you or your creator later with metadata. The audio will be deselected when exporting anyway. Keywords. What is a keyword or tag in stock footage? Keywords are target words you think a potential buyer might put in a search engine when they want to find your clip like yours. You want to make it easy as possible for the right buyers to find your clip. Example, if you have a woman smiling on a beach, 
you want to include all the keywords that accurately represent that clip, perhaps woman, female, young, beach, sunny day, and also words like smiling, happy, and joy. If a buyer searches young woman on beach, you want them to see your clip. If a buyer searches something abstract like joy, you want them to see your clip. So if that is also accurately represented in your video, SEO. These search engine optimizations to make sure buyers see clips that are actually they are actually interested in. The engines learn as they go. If buyers find your clip in a search and at least preview it, that teaches the engine that your clip is relevant and interesting for that specific keyword combination, which raises your SEO performance. If they find your clip in a search and skip right over it, the engine learns that your clip is not relevant or interesting and it will be pushed your clip further down the list in future searches. We want you want to get you on the first page of results. Keyword guidelines. Minimum of 8, maximum of 49 keywords. You will get an error if you have more or less keywords. Agencies recommend 35 to 49 keywords for best sales results. English only. The exception is with native words for cultural practices, objects, and locations. Keywords must apply to your shoot. Using misleading keywords could get your video rejected by the agencies and will hurt your SEO performance if the clip is accepted. Only use keywords that your footage accurately contains or represents. Consider keywords describe who, what, when, where, uh, why and how, subject, location, lighting, shot type, technique, emotional mood. For each keyword, ask yourself, would somebody who searches specifically for this keyword be likely to at least preview my clip? Yes, it's a good keyword for you. No, buyers might skip over your clip and search results hurting your SEO. Better to delete it. In the case of owl clip, you could use tags like curious, eyeball, horns, endangered, conservation, wild, bird, raptor, owl, great horned owl, etc. Do not use your name, company name, or a secret code word as a keyword. Try to catalog your clips together for searching on agency sites. Your clips will most likely be rejected by some of the agencies if you do net. I should say, read this again. Try not. Your clips um, will be rejected. Don't use those. If you use these, it will be rejected. Warning, you can browse metadata on other clips online for ideas, but don't copy and paste the keywords of another curator, creator, especially when you copy their identifying keywords, company or personal name. This is considered pirating. Repeat offenders may have their black box access suspended or revoked. There are several keyword generators out there that can help you get started. You can check those out right here. Resources for keywording tips and best practices. I encourage you to look through these lists here. This is cool. Black Boxers Victoria Smith online course, how to write killer keywords for your stock footage is a great resource and you can find this here. Join the Black Box members face group for even some awesome keywording tips and feedback on your work. Release forms. For a clip to be sold as a commercial, versus editorial more below. Proper model and or property releases forms are required for clips that contain recognizable people, recognizable to themselves, to family, to friends, etc. If you film yourself, you need a release for yourself. If you film family members, you need releases for those family members. Silhouettes, back of heads, long shots of people may require releases if the person in the shot is recognizable by them or others. Recognizable people, recognizable to themselves. I'm going to skip down or others. This issue of recognizability is all about subjectivity and judgment by reviewers at every level, including you. Recognizability is not subject and cannot be measured. We see agency rejections from hands and even feet sometimes. We would love to be able to tell you 100% for sure what is not acceptable. But the honest answer is that sometimes agencies make strange decisions and there is nothing we or you can do about it. Private places and locations, property owner or legal tenant may sign. Events where admission is charged, normally this footage will not be allowed. Trademarks or logos, artwork, including tattoos and graffiti, need property releases from the artist. 
animals, where the minimal animal is prized or publicly recognized, risable, grumpy cat, award-winning horses, certain zoo animals, etc. Clips containing these subjects will most likely be rejected if you do not upload a release. If you do not have a release, you can upload as editorial. Important. All persons signing release forms must be real people, the exact people referenced on the forms. All signatures must be valid and authentic. We strongly recommend that all dates match the date of the actual shoot. Any breaches of these rules could mean that your black box account could be suspended or terminated with, without prior notice. Filling out black box release forms. More on mobile app release below. Download the release and the help forms templates. Black box templates can be filled out two ways, manually or digitally. Manually printed, filled out, scanned as a JPEG. Digitally filled out on a computer, saved as a JPEG. Please use the most recent forms. Most recent forms. Forms will not work if opened in web browser. You need Adobe Acrobat 7.0 or later. If digitally, follow these guidelines. Names, name in all caps, photo release. Photos are mandatory for property releases and optional for model releases. Adding photos from a computer, click the appropriate box and then add the photo. Signature image files. If you have scanned image files of signatures you want to use, format the files exactly. 500 by 100 pixels at 300 dpi. Just click the signature box and then upload your signature image file. You must click the box, use the upload file process for this to work. You can drag and you can't drag and drop. Witness signature. The witness must be a person other than the photographer, model, parent, or property owner signing the release. Witnesses cannot be the same person signing as photographer, model, or property owner. Photographer can be, be the model and can sign as model and photographer. Photographer can sign as a parent if the child is the model. The dates of the witness signatures must match the date of the model or property owner signature. Property releases. The owner of the tenant can sign the form. Form releases must be saved and uploaded as .jpg. Description of the scene. Be as detailed as possible. Hint. You can customize your own black box releases templates. For example, if you're going to be the photographer and the model will be the same witness will be the same, you can create a customized black box release template in Adobe Acrobat. Start with the standard black box template, add what you can, save as a copy as JPEG, and then you can further customize a new form that you have created at a later time. Uploading and attaching releases. Release in .jpg format only will be accepted. Please do not upload .pdfs or any other format. Upload your releases during the metadata stage using the black box uploader and the clip editor. In the workspace tab, click Upload Manage Property Release button. Here you can download form templates, upload your model property releases, review and manage, search, edit, delete your uploaded documents. To attach the same release to several clips at once, create a batch and do it through the batch process. Uh, important, make sure you check your work and inspect your final release form for legibility, accuracy prior to uploading to Blackbox. Blackbox keeps a list of your previously uploaded releases forms in case you need to use them again in the future. New releases are required for each new shoot. You filmed a model two days ago and she signed a release form for that shoot. You're filming again today. You need a new release for this current shoot with updated descriptions and dates. Most common release form rejections reasons. Release form entries and or signatures are not completely readable. This is critical. Witness section is left blank, or is the photographer model owner signing twice? Property releases, no picture of the property or the item. Minor model releases, the relationship is not clearly stated for parent guardian. You can use the Easy Model Release app. I'm not going to go through all that, but you can find it and read through these if you want to use that. I actually recommend you use the paper releases. But you can find the Easy Release mobile app. You can also find that uh, section for that 
um, and my on my uh, YouTube channel at Crafted Shutter. What is editorial content? Basically, editorial content is anything you don't have a release for. Uh, editorial is the opposite of commercial. It is editorial. It cannot be used to sell, promote, monetize a business, product, or service. It can contain logos, business names, recognizable people without model releases. Editorial con content cannot, um, cannot be used to monetize a business, but can be used for news or educational purposes. Editorial content sells. Commercial is really only for public advertising campaigns. Government, corporate, educational, web, all can buy editorial and often do. Don't hesitate to upload as editorial by following our guidelines below. Tip, see in the beginning of section 6 above to see what makes a clip editorial. How to designate a clip as editorial during the metadata process. Uh, add your proper editorial information either manually in the uploader by checking editorial box in your CSV sheet by writing true in the editorial column. For commercial clips, you can write false in the editorial column or leave it blank. A blank entry will be interpreted as false. Editorial clips will need an editorial caption in addition to the clip description. This caption must follow a specific format that Blackbox will automatically generate for you after you fill in the required fields. Captions are meant to be newsworthy and specific or it may be rejected. Official tips from Shutterstock below. Example, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, 5th of May, 2016. Young skateboarder on streets to celebrate Go Skateboarding Day in the city. Let's break it down. You will find these elements separately. Editorial caption, young skateboarder on the streets to celebrate Skateboarding Day in the city. City, Pittsburgh, state Pennsylvania, country, United States of America, and date. Description, young skateboard on the street celebrating the day. Using the information from these fields, Blackbox will automatically generate your finished editorial caption, which you'll see here. It's actually a really nice process. Resources for editorial content are listed here below. Submitting your clips. Once you've finished adding metadata, release forms, shares, it's time to submit your clips to Blackbox. Make sure you do the final check before your Final check of your clips. Is all the metadata correct following the guidelines? Are all the releases uploaded and attached? Have shares been assigned properly? Do your clips meet the black box quality standards? Check your work. Once you press submit, you can't make any further changes. Are you 100% ready to submit? Submit options. Workspace tab. Submit clips one by one. Select multiple clips at a time and press submit. Select all. Next to the submit button, select all the clips and metadata saved. Clips without metadata saved will not be submitted. Once submitted, your clips will show up in the submit content tab of my black box under filters, my assets, my shared assets, or all. If you are submitting clips created as a part of the collaborative project, you can mark the project as complete and the clips will automatically be submitted or you can submit the clips individually. It is a good idea to double check your curator's work in case something needs to be altered. If a clip does require attention, you can use the reject button to send the clip back to the curator to be fixed. Blackbox will now take your content to the stock agencies representing the global markets of potential buyers around the world. Footage usually takes anywhere from a few days to a few weeks to be reviewed by Blackbox and then sent to the agencies to be reviewed and accepted or rejected for sale. You'll be able to check the status of my assets clips you have personally uploaded to your account and my shared assets clips you have selected as a curator or share in your submitted content tab. We have very little control over the agencies so please be patient. Pricing is set by the agencies according to their standard pricing. You do not need to set a price for your clips. Clip status. Pending. We are waiting for you to submit a project or clip submitted by your creator. You can see these clips in your submitted content tab. Pending review with delete key available. Your clip is being under review by Blackbox. Ready. With delete key available, your clip has been accepted by Blackbox but has not yet been sent to the agencies for review. You can still delete the footage at this time. Ready. Your clip has been sent to agencies and has not yet been accepted for sale. We will typically get your clips out to the agencies for review in one to three days. 
Agency reviews can take anywhere from a few days to several weeks. You cannot delete the clip at this stage. Online, at least one agency has accepted your clip for sale. When a clip is sold by one of the agencies, you will get an email notification and sale can be seen in my earnings area of your black box account. Rejected. If your clip was rejected by all the agencies or by black box reviewer, if it was rejected by a black box reviewer, a rejection email notification will be sent out in to inform about the rejection with or without with or without reasons. The rejected clip will be available to be submitted content tab for two weeks for referring and viewing before it will be removed automatically. Waiting for agency approval. Different agencies have different review times. Some are fast, others are slow. It can take as little as a day or as long as a month for your clips to be accepted by at least one agency. Please be patient. Use your time to make and upload more footage clips. Note, there is no guarantee that any agency will accept your clips. Once a clip is approved by an agency, it will show up in the agency search engine. It takes a day or two for the status data to be transmitted to Blackbox, so don't be shocked if you find a clip on an agency site and the status is still ready on your Blackbox account. Please be patient and give it a day or two for the data to transfer to Blackbox. Getting paid. When and if a clip sells, and we hope it sells a lot, you will be notified by Blackbox email and the sale will be reflected in your Blackbox account. Payments are made by PayPal on the 20th of the month following the month in which the clip sells. Example, sales for the month of January will be paid in February. Note, there is a $2 monthly threshold for payments. There is an, an additional PayPal transaction fee. This is how your revenue is calculated. Average agency sale price, net sale to black box. Net sale 15% black box commission amount. That goes to you and your collaborators. You can find your footage on each individual agency site by searching and using contributor name black box guild. You'll be able to see your accepted footage as well as footage from other black box members. Conclusion. Wow, that was a lot to cover. If you haven't already, please read the mandatory member frequently asked questions. The information provided is vital to your black box success. Thank you for investing your time and learning black box platform. Don't forget to join the Facebook group. This is John talking for himself, closing out here. I went through all this as best as I could, as quickly as I could to uh, make this process as easy for you as possible. Um, note that all my videos are not this boring on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we will see you in the next video.